What's going on everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things Marvel and MCU and of course right now all we can talk about is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That trailer dropped right before the Super Bowl and they teased us with Patrick Stewart returning as Professor Xavier and they gave us a full shot, although vague, but a full shot of the Illuminati. We see all of their chairs there and we see Doctor Strange brought in for judgment against a multiversal Illuminati. And this is really exciting, but a lot of people are actually failing to realize what a particular scene in this trailer actually is, which is the Scarlet Witch fighting the Illuminati. And I personally think that the members of the Illuminati that go up against the Scarlet Witch are going to die. I don't think they're going to be able to defeat Wanda. And I think they're all going to go up against her. So let's talk about this. And big thank you to Extra for sponsoring this video. More on them in a bit. And if you love Marvel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. Now, right now, we don't know who all of the official members of the Illuminati are going to be in Multiverse of Madness. However, we can assume that these are going to be some of the strongest heroes across the multiverse. Not only is this an Illuminati team, which always consists of the strongest heroes and leaders of each group. Iron Man from the Avengers, Black Bolt from the Inhumans, Professor X from the X-Men, Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four, Namor the Submariner of Atlantis, and of course, Doctor Strange. All extremely powerful characters. Now we can assume a multiversal Illuminati is going to have even greater characters. The best of the best from their respective universes. Now we have the Iron Legion Ultron bot, so we can assume that Superior Iron Man is in the Illuminati. Even if he's not in the trailer, even if that wasn't him, if it was Maria Rambeau as Captain Marvel, or maybe it was Iron Lad because it kind of looks like King. That doesn't really matter at this point because the Ultron bots give away that Superior Iron Man is in the film. So Superior Iron Man, Professor Xavier, of course, one of the strongest mutants out there, probably Captain Carter, as we see her shield in the poster for Multiverse of Madness. A lot of us are assuming Mr. Fantastic will be a part of the Illuminati since he is a part of the original Illuminati and rumors have been going around about somebody possibly playing him. Hint, John Krasinski. We don't know if that's confirmed or not right now. That's just what the fans want, but maybe a Mr. Fantastic who is also extremely powerful. Probably a very of Doctor Strange or maybe Mordo is the person as the Sorcerer Supreme on the council and what looks to be perhaps Balder the Brave or maybe Sentry, that big person on the right sitting down in the chair with the long hair. And I do believe Maria Rambeau as Captain Marvel will be in this film as well. And sadly, I think all of these people are going to die. In this scene, in the trailer, we actually see somebody attacking the Scarlet Witch. It looks like they come at her full force as well. Again, whether this is Superior Iron Man or Captain Marvel, that's a lot of force, whoever it is. And Wanda defends herself very, very well and blocks whatever attack is coming at her. Also, if you notice the background, we can see statues with wings on them. These same statues are found in the courtyard that Doctor Strange is escorted through by the Ultron bots as he makes his way to the headquarters of the Illuminati's council room. So that confirms that this takes place inside of the Illuminati's headquarters. Wanda is fighting the Illuminati. Now, the Illuminati are going to go up against Wanda, and this probably is not the end of the film. This is probably somewhere in the middle. So we know they're not going to defeat Wanda because that would kind of end the story. Wanda's probably not going to be defeated until the very end of the film, whether that's her coming to her senses and realizing that she's been evil or somebody actually defeats her. So since Wanda isn't going to be defeated in this scene, we can assume she is going to be the one defeating the Illuminati. Now at this point, it looks like Wanda truly is kind of getting evil. She has learned from the Darkhold, which is an evil book full of dark magic and dark spells, which she has now learned, and might even be a little bit possessed by the maker of the Darkhold, the ancient evil elder god, Cthun. So if you put all of that together, not only is she the Scarlet Witch, in which only one should exist in even all of the multiverses, she has all of the power and knowledge of the Darkhold now, and could be a little bit possessed by an evil elder god. This makes her insanely dangerous. And what is she looking for? Her kids. This is a huge motivating factor in Wanda's journey across Multiverse of Madness. She is going through the multiverse in search for her children. They were taken away from her along with Vision, and now she's had it. She's the ultimate powerful being in the multiverse, and she's going to stop at nothing to get her kids back. And if anybody gets in her way, she's going to take care of them. She will not let them get in her way. And unfortunately, that means the Illuminati. And again, what I'm about to talk about is I think the they're all 
going to die. So it does look like either Superior Iron Man or Captain Marvel, who is going to be a Maria Rambeau version of Captain Marvel, is going to attack first. Maybe it isn't her that attacks first. Trailers can, of course, be misleading intentionally, but we do know that they indeed fight. And if this is Captain Marvel, I actually think it's very clever because there is somewhat of a debate between who would win in a fight, the Scarlet Witch or Captain Marvel. To me, I think Scarlet Witch wins no problem, especially now with magic that she knows from the Darkhold. She now knows that she is the Scarlet Witch, and she has magic in herself, not just powers given to her from an Infinity Stone, but has actual magic. So she would have mastered that already using the Darkhold and just time. So she is going to tear through Captain Marvel. From there, she's probably going to start to take out the rest of the Illuminati. I'm assuming she probably catches one off guard and attacks really, really quickly. Either this is the very beginning of the battle and she initiates it by killing one very, very quickly, or she gets attacked and after she defeats the first person, attacks the second very quickly and they die. Now from here, obviously the others would step in, but let's not forget that Doctor Strange is there too, and we have seen a scene of Mordo attacking Doctor Strange while he is in those handcuffs. Again, another clear sign of evidence that a fight breaks out here in the Illuminati headquarters, but it looks like the Illuminati are also fighting Doctor Strange, so not all of the Illuminati at once are going to attack Wanda. And as much as I hate to say it, I do think everybody dies because next up would be Captain Carter. And I love Captain Carter, she's awesome, I can't wait to see her live action but she doesn't stand a chance against Wanda. Mr. Fantastic is one of my favorite characters ever because of his intellect, but unfortunately, power-wise, I don't think he stands much of a chance against Wanda either. And if Mordo is really the Sorcerer Supreme of his universe and he is a member of the Illuminati, it looks like he's going to be fighting Doctor Strange. He might be the only one that survives, but that's really going to be up to Wanda. Now, as much as I hate to say it, up next is Professor Xavier, and I think that she's going to kill him too. And it makes you wonder, how many times do we have to watch this guy die on screen. Apparently, not enough, because I do believe we are going to see him die one more time. Yes, he is very, very powerful. And yes, his telepathy is an Omega class, but he himself is an alpha level mutant. But his telepathy is going to go up against Wanda's chaos magic, which as of right now is kind of undefinable. However, like I said, we know she's going to be filled with rage, filled with knowledge of the Darkhold, and is willing to do anything to get her kids back. This makes for a pretty unstoppable force. And judging by the shot of Wanda that we get where there's blood all over her face, this looks like it's a final blow. A final blow to the last member of the Illuminati standing, who I believe is sadly going to be Professor Xavier or Mordo. Mordo might live. We'll have to see. But this shot indicates that a massive fight has taken place, and the fact that we have two other scenes where the Illuminati is fighting means that, yes, there is going to be a huge fight here, and I believe Wanda's coming out on top and everybody else will die. But what do you think? Do you think anybody is going to be capable of stopping the Scarlet Witch? Do you think some of them will make it out alive by running away? Or do you think the Illuminati could defeat her? Let me know what you think about this theory in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. And for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.